Back in the other Washington tomorrow morning, thousands of people are expected to take part in the Women's March 2.0 here in the city. Last year, numbers were grossly underestimated. About 175,000 people turned out in downtown Seattle alone last year. This year, you can still expect a large crowd and you'll see lots of street closures. So let's take a look at the map. The march begins at 10 o'clock in the morning at Cal Anderson Park up on Capitol Hill. It moves to Pike and Forth around 11 a.m., then ends at Seattle Center. We've got this map also posted at king5.com if you want to check it out there. There's a program lined up not only for tomorrow, but also Sunday. Several events take place Sunday around the city. This year, there's an emphasis on helping indigenous women. The group Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women will be leading the march in Seattle. There's also a Women's March on Olympia tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., followed by a Walk for Women at Heritage Park.